America has averaged more than one train derailment per day for as long as I've been alive. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg introduced a new safety rule Tuesday, requiring most trains to have at least two crew members to enhance safety across the railroad industry. This decision follows the Norfolk Southern train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio last year that reignited rail safety discussions. In that accident, the Norfolk Southern train carrying hazardous vinyl chloride actually had three crew members as it derailed and burst into flames. Buttigieg emphasized that the new federal mandate stops railroads from cutting crew sizes across all states. The Federal Railroad Administration reviewed more than 13,000 written comments over a four-month period before finalizing the rule, noting that rail workers are safer when not overburdened. The rate of derailments in this country is not preordained. That's something we know from experience because when good safety rules have been put in place over the years, especially after high-profile incidents, we see derailments come down on mainline tracks. The new rules follow 7,500 Federal Railroad Administration inspections of routes used by trains carrying highly flammable materials. The agency has also updated its policies, focusing on the types of tank cars, length of trains, handling hazardous material spills, worker fatigue, and safety. Critics of the new two-person rule say there's no justification for it. They note that single-person crews have been used increasingly successfully in the U.S. and abroad for years. The Association of American Railroads says crew sizes have dropped from five to two thanks to technological advances. They argue fixed crew size mandates could hinder the flexibility needed to address staffing and scheduling challenges.